He's, uh, he's, he's established some success, but he's still the guy we all love, and he loves people, and we love his sense of humor, and we're really proud of Kyle Milicek. So come on up here, Kyle, and introduce your film. Woo! Thank you guys all for coming on a Monday. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, um, so I'm not gonna say much. I'm gonna try and let the project speak for itself. He's rolling. Okay. He's so, rolling. What's up, y'all? It's TK hey. from Workaholics. Yeah, Kyle. And yep. Kyle, hot he just wrote the mega hit of summer 2014. Fun in the sun. Yeah, but we wrote it in 2012 in December. We challenge you. We challenge you. We challenge you to make a video for our 2000 summer 14 hit. But yeah, guess what? You you take the music, you make a video which you and your friends, and then you put it, you upload it, and then tweet at us, and tweet it at us, and if you win, you get a prize. You know what that prize is? Tell me. It's me. Uh, uh, TK is coming to your party, and guess what I'll do? What does TK do? Hold up, hold up. Dunk, TK. He dunks, y'all. Dunk, TK, dunk. All right. I mean, I don't, I don't think I can make this any simpler than it is, than it already is. I don't think I can make it any simpler. I cannot wait to see your music videos that you make for our summer 2014 anthem. Someone, you know, someone asks you, hey, are you still pursuing that, uh, that, that acting stuff? No, it's not stuff to me. It's, it's my fucking life. So, yeah, I am still fucking doing it. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know why someone would want to watch this. You ever seen Dumbo? Dumbo, seeing Dumbo, he has the fucking worst life ever. People spit on him and say, get out of my fucking face. You're, you're, look at you, you're disgusting with those big old ears. But then he gets famous. But then like, he starts flying and everybody's like, oh, you're the famous Dumbo. And then his mom gets out of jail and his, and everything's good. It's a happily ever after. So I should, I want to be famous. You ready to do the doc? Of course I'm ready, man. I'm okay. always ready. All right. Because once we start, it's going to move fast. Yeah, bro. I've been ready for this for weeks, man. I've been waiting on you. You're not afraid of going fast? No, I'm not afraid. I'm ready to fucking just... You're ready to go fast? Yes, I'm ready to go fast. Like this? Like yes. this fucking fast? No, I'm not ready. Stop, like stop, 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 fast, stop, bro. I know. I'm like fast. this fast. No, you ready? Whoa, 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 All right, then, man. Shit. Oh, 
I met Thomas through the Workaholics guys, who I uh, work with, um, and I became interested in him as a personality um, when I saw some of his YouTube videos. He did one, uh, one I can't remember what it's called, but there's a trampoline in it, and it was just legitimately dumbass shit that um, I thought was funny. You think I'm this like daredevil, not scared of anything, you know? <laughs> I'm scared of a lot of stuff. I really am. I'm like petrified. Sometimes I'm so scared I just can't even move. I just don't even want to get out of bed. Uh, I got to work with him on Workaholics when he did a small part where he played uh, he played a character named TK who was uh, a guy that would go to basketball parties, to, he, a guy that would go to little kids' uh, birthday parties and dunk, and he would dress up as a lad. Will the birthday girl please come on up here and make a wish? Oh, doesn't June look so pretty on her ninth birthday? So pretty, I could sing about it. Woo, come on! Little June bug, look at what you done. Beautiful. Broke up the clouds and then you brought out the sun, baby. Custom songs? Cool Aladdin pants? No, those are hammer pants, dude. Yeah, I've went through like a huge hammer phase. I know. That is an Aladdin vest, though. Yes. I'll admit that. Jewel, oh, baby. My little Jewel. Wow, that's really good. What's your wish, sweetie? June just asked me to dunk, y'all. And Jeannie said. Dunk, TK. Dunk. What's up? Yeah! Oh my god! What's up? He's he's an interesting character. Um uh, I think there's I think there's a storm raging inside of him. And I'm just watching to see if he's gonna make it through. Thomas and me, man, we have fun together. Yeah. He comes up here like at least once a month and we just have fun. <laughs> yeah. It's tight. I can talk, we can talk about anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. I recently started a production company called Wonk Incorporated. That is kind of a dream of mine to, to start it and uh, to have a company. This is the logo. Uh, um, so then I, this was with, yeah, yeah, so then, here, actually, one of the first projects that I, and I bought some cameras, and I bought some editing gear, and I turned my garage into a studio, so now I can kind of, you know, do whatever I want with all my buddies, so that's what I'm trying to do. Thomas and I love working together, and so, basically, he's going to be the subject of the first feature film that my company makes. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to direct it. He's in Orange County, I'm in Hollywood. I got a lot of stuff going on, he's got nothing. Off the backboard, two hand catch, slam a jam. Yeah, you're, you're a little chubby. That, that's about it. I mean, come on, son. I mean, hey, hey uh, come on, dude, dude. You can, this is what you can do. Hey, come on, Thomas, come, come back. All you have to do is a little working out. This is what you get. I'm 56. You're only 30, son. Come on. Thomas. See, that's just it. Don't give up. Thomas is a very talented individual, and he, um, gets very passionate and excited about certain things. And I think that he puts a lot of pressure on himself to succeed. And sometimes that pressure can
can also force him to not succeed. He's one of the weirdest people I've ever met in my life. Uh, and I've met some very weird individuals. I initially met Thomas in, in junior college. Uh, Met him, I think, in some improv class, and it was kind of like, like seeing him, and I'm like, the, like, who is this odd-looking person? You know, like, his face was like distracting you from the comedy, and I, and I and I knew he had something more than just this like initial like, like just ugly. Yeah. All right. I want to tell you that I want everybody to know what I like in a woman. I like, I like when they have high booties. When they have really high booties. I want a girl that has a booty on the back of her neck. <laughs> and she has to cut her hair or hair is going to go on her butt crack. <laughs> First time I met Thomas, he was at a bar called uh, Spuds, I don't know, so I think it's called Spuds now. It doesn't matter what it was called. It was an open mic kind of thing. Everybody was doing a bunch of time, and Thomas was doing his thing, and out of nowhere, this guy was heckling him. He was, he was pretty drunk. There was a table up front, dude and a couple girls, and he was getting kind of agitated throughout the show. He didn't like, he didn't like uh, the girls laughing at other comics. No, this dude at the table. And a fight happened, uh, which the guy, came at Thomas, he picked up his chair, and Thomas came at him, he was like, hey man, and then the guy literally just went, Duke! and he just like, boom, and he hit Thomas right in the head, right here in the middle, you know. Thomas has a big old scar right there, you'll see it. We're just trying to get through every day, right? That, that's just the plan, right? Just count down till the end of, to the end of your life. I'm not a fan of his stand-up. Um, I put him on house party. So like I am a good friend, which is my stand-up show uh, for Comedy Central. What's up, Adam Devine? <laughs> Thomas, Thomas Kellogg, what's up? Hey, uh, Go, let, me, let me get on the show, bro. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got a lot of jokes. I had a joke about my mom and I was like, like, would you never mix dinner on time? Man, that sounds hot, but we're all booked up. What the f Dude. Mm. I'm gonna murder myself at your party. I'm gonna kill myself. I'm gonna string myself up in the front. Okay, let's take a knee. Are you gonna kill yourself? I'm gonna kill myself. You're gonna kill yourself? Yeah, I'm gonna kill. Are you gonna kill yourself? I'm gonna kill myself. Are you gonna kill I don't want to! Guess what I'm gonna do for you, Ryan? It's Thomas. Thomas, I am gonna bless you. I'm gonna bless you with the chance of doing comedy live here at the party. Are you gonna kill yourself? No. Okay, I did that preemptively. I thought you were gonna say that you were. Not gonna kill myself. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah okay. Yep, uh, don't hug me. Welcome to the big leagues, my man. Yeah, all right. Okay. So what's up? Do you remember the day that we were all out at uh, Adam Devine's house party when we shot season one and it was like me, you, Divine. Um, I think Austin was there that day. I think Blake were... was there too. Blake was there too, yeah. We were sitting next to the, the star wagons. Yeah. In between like all the trailers and stuff, just being like, oh, this is it. I do it for fun. I do do it because I do have fun doing it. Well, yeah, hell yeah. It was nice to get that little taste like, damn, maybe this could be my life though. <sighs> that was fucking great. I hate him. You know, I hate everything that that dude is it's so fucking annoying man he's just one of those guys that i'm like what are you doing in my town there's not there's just just leave you know like there's people that are gonna make it that are here and then there's people like you that should just get the fuck out of here you know what i mean pool's not big enough i bet he can't even swim in real life which makes me fucking furious you know because water safety's like my issue well, Blake and Adam knew him from improv, and then therefore I got introduced to Thomas. At a certain point, I realized that Thomas knew how to sing, and he was a very good singer, and I always loved messing around in the studio. Thomas and I recorded a song called Fun in the Sun. 
Basically, we were talking about what to do with Fun in the Sun because we love the song, and Thomas had the idea of, of doing a contest for it, a music video contest. I think any other time I would have been like, what, are you, what? Okay, yeah, that's awesome, but how are we going to do it? And then finally, I'm at a point in my career in life that I was like, oh, maybe we can do this. Maybe we could actually pull this contest off. So basically, we're going to challenge people on Twitter, uh, our followers, to create a music video for our song, Fun in the Sun. And then whoever <laughs> wins, Thomas is then going to fly to their house, basically, to their city, and then he's going to dunk We're using a trampoline and then leave. And that's the whole contest. So I like to look at it as a little bit of a social experiment in a way. What up, buddy? How are you? Good, how are you? What's going on? Good. 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 Bring you to my office. This is nice, man. TK and I are doing this contest that is basically about um, the song that we made is called Fun in the Sun. Okay. We we need you to be the judge of our contest. Mm -hmm. When the person wins, I go to their house and I dump. Okay. When when all the fans and stuff make their videos, we need you to look at them. And okay. whoever you pick, yeah. I go to their house and I dump. I'll fucking slam it, dude. Okay. Dude, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. They'll be, they'll be fucking. It's not like one of my. I'd be fucking stoked if a fucking TV personality came and dunked at my house. I mean. TV personality. Yeah. Remember at Workaholics? Yeah. Remember uh, Kevin? Remember at Workaholics when I dunked? This will be the biggest thing you will ever be associated with. Whoa, whoa! Hey, Thomas, back off. Just well, you said off. that about Raging Beauty. You can suck my dick. What the fuck are you doing, man? Dude. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Riding that line, man. Uh, yeah, baby. Yeah, right. baby. How's the therapy going? Good. Therapy's yeah. good. Yeah. Okay, if I could dunk really easily. Like, do you. If I could dunk really easily eight foot, uh, with a trampoline, I could probably dunk on a 12 foot rim. No joke. I can't do 360s and stuff, but I probably, no joke, can dunk on a 12 foot rim. Oh, I want you to do it as a real dunk. Like, I don't want this to be bullshit. You know what I mean? Like, we're doing the contest. We're doing this thing. Like, what the f yeah, we're doing it, and people are going to fucking love it, and they're going to get a prize. They're going to get me coming to their house and put on a fucking great show. Okay. So this uh -huh. dude asked us to meet him here. I don't even know why we're fucking meeting him. Well, yes, you do, Thomas. No, why aren't you directing it, Kyle? <laughs> because I have a ton of other projects to do, dude. I have a lot. I got workaholics to do. I yeah, got I got stuff to do. I got a job. I got to, I got stuff to do too. So, this but this is important. Good. good. Whatever. Whoa. That's him. This is the dude. He said he was gonna be on a scooter. Where'd you find this guy? On the internet, man. I saw like a short film of his. I think it's called. Uh, I don't even know what it was called, man. But it was just fucked up. Where the fuck is this guy taking us? I have no idea. Is man. he going to murder us? What's Are his... you getting a good shot of him, man? I got him, whatever. What's his name, Brian? Ryan. Ryan Max Amelia. Ryan? Hi. What's up, partner? How are you? This uh, is Ryan, our director. We found him online. Say you? what's oh. up. Found you, bro. Hi, you're Thomas. I'm Thomas. What's up? Good to meet you. Hi. We made a song together. Uh, he's a comedian. Tell a joke. Tell Ryan a joke, man. Yo, man, uh, uh fuck. Tell him a joke, man. Okay, let me, I've got a good one. Man, dude, uh, when, in 1996, um... So, Kyle, is this gonna be sort of a, uh, film 
Or are we going gorilla documentary? I want you to so follow him around. I want you to be his shadow. To, and then whoever wins it, punches, I go there, has to jump the best. So this is, okay, so it's not a music video. This is a, a documentary about a contest video? Yes, that's exactly right. That's for, a, exactly for a song right. you guys made. For a song we made. I'll okay. fucking slam it too. And then, oh, and then the winner of the contest is going to get TK, a visit from TK to dunk using okay. uh, a trampoline, just like he did on that episode of Work All. That's the prize. That's the whole prize. That's what we're doing, man. Um, <clears throat> why did I hire Ryan? Ryan, he's the only guy who responded to my Craigslist ad, and he also agreed to work for nothing. What we've lost, we build again. We build, and we build, and we reach. We reach for photons, and we reach back, back to the life giver. Back, back to where we thrive. Don't you fucking say a word, all right? Keep your fucking mouth shut. Get the dogs out of my fucking face. Get the dogs out of my face. Get the dogs out of my face. What the, what's up, bro? What are you doing here, dude? It's Saturday. What's up? Yeah, it's Saturday. Yeah, I'm doing the fucking documentary. What are you doing? I'm hanging out with my buddy. Your buddy? I'm your buddy. Well, yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm your buddy. I'm your buddy making a making a film with you. I'm your fucking buddy. Oh, yeah. I'm calm down. Calm right? down. You don't barge in someone's house at 155 on a you Saturday. You don't even fucking exist to me. Just fucking chill out. Stay out of it. You don't you don't want to fuck with this. Oh, you don't want to no, fuck with this. In front of my fucking fiance? Huh? In front of my fiance? Hello. I'm sorry. Huh? Okay, I'm sorry. But man, I'm loud. I'm loud. Yeah. What is the problem? He's the problem. This is the problem. This is the problem. Ryan? He's the problem. What's wrong with Ryan? He's a fucking, he's a crackhead. He's weird, man. Ryan is a problem. Ryan is the Ryan problem. Ryan is a director. Ryan, no, right, no. I, 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 okay, right now, I am, no, right now, I am shut taking up. a stand. Shut you up. You, sh you, sh you, sh you shut up. I am standing my ground right now, and I am, and I am making a professional decision to not work with him, and I will not, I, this project will not go forward with him as a director. I made a decision. Fine, it won't go forward, then I'm gonna cut it. Cut the fucking project on this guy. This project will not uh, go forward with Who him as the director. Who is this dude coming into your house on 214 on a Saturday? I am standing my ground. I will not work with him. This yeah. project will not go We're forward just trying with to him chill. as the director. Don't you have a day standing... Shut the fuck up. Ryan is the fucking director. I'm producing it, or else I cut the fucking project. It's done. Okay, then Ryan will be the director. Um, I don't know what the fuck this is. I don't know what the contest is. I don't know if, if, if they're joking. I don't think they are. I think I, it's something about that there is a crazy person. There's this very self-involved, self-centered, troubled, small, petty, crazy person. And then this really bizarro contest where the prize is this crazy person. What's up, bro? Hey, hope you guys are hungry. You take a shower, what's up? Nah, man, I just woke up. What's up, man? How you doing, man? People let you just walk around like that? Okay. Hey, I got a little tan. Do I look good? Not really. You got a little tan? Am I gonna say? Whoa, that's on fire! Oh, yeah, this is on fire. This is on fire! It's really bad! Food good? Looks great. Thank you. Tell them what you got in there. Some Ezekiel bread, scrambled eggs, and fish. It's called tapatio. <laughs> Tapatia. Tapatia. Tapatia fish. It's from the Atlantic because you don't want to eat any fish from the Pacific right now. Why? Oh, because of the. Uh, because of the, the Japanese. I'm doing a Twitter contest, and we're making a documentary about the Twitter contest. And I'm asking you, I, I need your help with this documentary. Ryan might come to you and ask you, like, 
to do a, to do a interview about me, and you tell you stuff about me. I'm I am there for you always. I just need to know ahead of time because I can't let it interfere with work. You know what I mean. That's all I ask, that it doesn't interfere with my job. Yeah, work. And then I'm cool. Work first, Oliver, I know. I'm not a fucking little kid. I get it. Well, yeah, sometimes you just act like one. We, okay. When we're interfere at work, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is, this one would be kind of good. <laughs> He's like wiping the cum off his face. <laughs> we're, um, me and my dad are looking for pictures. My dad's really good at Photoshop. We're looking at pictures of Oliver so we could put a dick like shooting at him. <laughs> like I try to get the cum out of his eyes or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, oh no, no. <laughs> it stinks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it, right oh, there. What do you think he's sucking on? <laughs> it's so bizarre. But I, I, I want to help them. I want to do this. There are very few films being made of any substance. All right. So, you know, I'm here. Carmody Green, Lars von Trier, Werner Herzog, Ryan Maximilian. I want to do this. I want us to do this. I want us to make something. To play with uh, realities and to play with narrative. So let's take these stories and, and these figures and characters and spin them around in a way that, that creates something greater than the sum of its parts. This is a whole new dogma, okay? Hi. I'm here with Ryan, and we're shooting the hey, documentary. What's up? Yeah, I know, I know. Um, you wanna know what I'm doing? What are you doing, bro? Me and my fiance and my brother are waiting to go to the aquarium. W what are you all waiting for? Waiting for your dumbass to call me in 20 minutes. It's been 45. I'm sorry. I we were yeah, doing. Well, why don't you just tell me 45? I didn't know, man. I'm sorry. Maybe uh, maybe the time uh, the time zone changed because you're in New Orleans, right? Yeah, maybe maybe that changes how long uh, how long minutes are. Kyle, we we did some uh, test dunks, and it's not looking too good, man. He can't hit the rim. What kind of a trampoline did you use? We haven't used a trampoline yet. So you didn't try it with a trampoline. You've got to try it with a trampoline. Uh, trampoline is a key factor. All right. I don't know, man. That's why I was saying you got to practice. You know what I mean? This isn't like, this is, this is important, Thomas. Couple to, you know, get the legs, the legs ready to jump. All right, I think we're ready. His dad tries to live vicariously through Thomas. Move it! I might dunk your drone. Move it! You're not gonna dunk it. Move the drone. Be careful! I might dunk it. Move it! I might dunk your drone, Dad. I might dunk your drone. Move it. Thomas's dad is a dick. And it's creating. That's not good. In and of itself, that is not good. A father and a son colliding the way they seem to is not a good thing, but it's, it's strengthening our film. All of this stuff is very, 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 very good. Very good, very good. We're making a film, and it's coming together. Right? I don't know what this is, but it's coming together. I, I just mean it's coming together. Move the throne, Dad! <laughs> Move it! Move it! What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Break my drone? That's way too much money for you, boy. 
Yeah. Keep it there. I'll jump over it, Dad. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll jump yeah. over it, Dad. Oh. Run, run, boy, run. That's what you always do. Run, run, run. Thomas, run. Ha, ha, ha. Try so hard for so long. I just want to make some noise in this world. I just sent one to uh, Robert Downey Jr. I said, we challenge you, Robert Downey Jr. Hashtag avenge this. <laughs> it, like, and if we get him, we might get Captain America and uh, Scarlett Johansson. We challenge you, Jerry Seinfeld. What's the deal with internet video contests? <laughs> Man, I think he might make a video. He seems interested. It's kind of cool. What do you mean he seems interested? I just, I just tweeted at him. Ron Howard, Cameron Crowe, M. Night Shyamalan, Kanye West, Spike Lee, Hype Williams, Ryan Gosling, John Stamos, Justin Bieber, Jenna Jameson, Jamie Foxx. <laughs> this could legitimately be fucking huge. We have a, a profile called at Mega Summer Hit, and Thomas has a password to it as well as myself. Thomas immediately goes after Ron Howard, Steven Spielberg, all these famous people that don't give a fuck. Robert Rodriguez and Woody Allen and Judd Apatow, and he's basically just like mentioning them, challenging them to do the contest. And why I'm the watching fuck this. Didn't you? Why the fuck didn't <laughs> you, uh, why the fuck didn't you do it? You told me to take care of the contest, I took care of the contest. You just, I thought it was funny. I legitimately thought it was a funny joke. Yeah, so I did it. Yeah, yeah. But you took it way too far. That's why I did it, Kyle! Dude, but it's not about just... You You tweeted 40 fucking times and... I like I like about. and respect them all. You know what? I was proactive. I'm sorry I did something to be proactive. And I need to just wait for somebody to put it on my fucking... On my fucking plate. There's no more cups. You're supposed to get I'm, them last week. I'm thirsty. There's no more cups. Fucking thirsty, man. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty! I'm fucking thirsty! Where were you? Where were you? Ryan, what are you guys doing? You were supposed to be at my house at 3 o'clock. What do you mean, fuck you? I can't miss work. I can't miss work for this. I can't miss work for your silly little videos. Alright? I'm sorry. My silly little videos? Yes. My silly little videos? Okay. Fuck you, man. Fuck, man. Fuck Why you. you come out here? I didn't give You're up on our dreams. You're making a fool of yourself out here. I didn't give here. up on our dreams. You gave up on our dreams. I didn't give up on anything. I have to work for you. We were supposed to be in this together. We are And now together, I'm, I'm doing this off. Fuck you, Oliver. Oh, my God. Thomas, what the Fuck hell? You. You've gone crazy. Get in the car, Ryan. Get in the car. Thomas, what do you... My boss... Your boss can suck my Somebody dick. Your boss can suck my dick, and you can suck my dick, you stupid bitch. Fuck you! How's it going? Is it going all right? He's, uh... I mean, he's a fuck... He's an asshole. You know that. All right, let's just watch. Let me see what you guys put together. Okay. So this is... The an early cut. says the documentary is becoming too weird. It's not funny enough. I have to change myself to, to meet Kyle's brand. Somehow change myself. I have to figure out a way to extract myself from the film. 
Is it too weird, Carter? Sorry, father. How about I make myself a machine, Kyle? How about I make myself inhuman? This is what you want, I know. But I can't give you this. this all the time? Do so you have this thing on the whole time? So you're not going to take that mask off, huh? I don't think it's in either of our interests for me to take it off. Really? The, the responses we're getting are honest. Yeah. Nobody's hiding anything because they don't see it now. They don't see me. Right? They see... They see nothing. Lawrence Von Trier. Thomas Victor Burr. Okay. I'll throw a couple more names in. Okay. Harmony Curry. Yeah, okay. Burger and Burtzell. You're just naming directors' names. You're just naming names. But you know what these names stand for? They stand for... A revolution in filmmaking. Are you talking about like with Dark by 95? <clears throat> yeah. You know it. Yeah, I've heard of it. I mean, I went to film school. You and I can write Dogma 2014. We're going to do Dogma 2014? With this project, with this film, we can write Dogma 2014. Like people look at us and say they're real filmmakers? Oh, yes. Are you serious? Oh, my God. I get it. Ah, what's up, dude? What's up, dude? Mm. Woo! Been a little bit. How you been? Looking right. good. Thanks, man. This is oh, Ryan. Yeah, yeah, you're already getting started, huh? Uh, Ooh. yeah, Ryan, Blake. Oh, whoa. That just tripped me out. I thought that was part of the camera. No. No, that's his mask. Oh, that's sick. Whoa, did that come with that? No. Oh. It's like a, it's like a Bane mask. Yeah, Adam said that. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's classic. Very cool, dude. Thank you. Yeah, that pole. In, in here is a pole. Mm -hmm. Wait, what was that? Uh, in the living room. It's okay. Yeah, you might. I'm just gonna kind of. Sure. That is wow. 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 I got it. I just gotta talk to him. I gotta talk to him alone, real quick, right? Thomas is ruining Kyle's career, if I'm being honest and real. Kyle is working really hard on his little weird 
weird side projects that uh, aren't going to really go anywhere? Um, I think they like each other. It's almost as if they they need each other now. You know, that one is making the other go, and I'm and I and I'm wondering where the, where this little carousel ends with those two. So you know Kyle, right? He's he's got to save everybody, and like, good luck to them. You know, I hope they butt fuck each other all the way to success, man. No, I'm poisoned. You look back on your fucking career, man. I'm poisoned, bro. There's one, there's one part of this equation that's all, that's constantly wrong, and it's me. Barfart was fucked up. All right, our pilot was our pilot was fucked up. We made a we made a pilot presentation early this year together. Non-air presentation. Yeah, non-air. What does that mean? That means no one's ever gonna see it. Um, let me see. Two for three dollars. What do you know about two for three dollars? Hamburgers and french fries, baby. Two burgers, two fries, and two nuggets? Anything else? And an ice cream cone. One ice cream cone. OK, please pull around. OK. I'm about to get me two hamburgers. Cause I got a coupon. Cause I got a coupon, baby. Oh, you have a really amazing voice. Thank you. You have, you have a beautiful voice, too. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be right back with your, um, the ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I think it was just, you know, you got to put your time in. That's it. Is that really already, what it is? I've already put my but time in. is that in. really See, what it is? But I got to put my time in? This is what it is, if you want to know why it didn't get picked up straight up. Let me hear why it really didn't get picked up. Because the reason it went is because I'm attached to it. Yes. The reason it didn't go is because you're attached to it. Skipped a couple steps. Yeah. Like, it, I mean, and I didn't think it was bad. I thought you, I thought we could do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, I thought it too. But you know, sometimes, sometimes you just gotta do, you gotta do some, like lower the bar a little bit. Sometimes you just gotta make some web videos for a couple years. A couple more years. A couple, a couple more should years. I make, yeah. Should I make web videos for thirty more years? relentless that guy he fails at everything but always gets back up he falls and falls again and he just keeps going I mean I I gave up on acting what do you want Tommy I came here to shoot something with why'd you bring him here don't involve Ryan why I, did you bring him here Tommy Ryan? stop stop uh, this is a favor for me let's just why'd you bring him I'm here? I'm sorry about last week I want to make a man that was last week I was ready last week I know <laughs> I'm ready now Thomas you have to get on my door the guy, I don't, I don't know what to say about him, you know, he's, um, when I was young, I was, uh, <laughs> I was fat, I was a fat kid, and, uh, there was this wall that I, <laughs> I couldn't jump over, and Thomas was athletic and quick, and he would always be able to do it, and, uh, he knew, he, he knew I couldn't do it. So he would wait for me and he would make these little like holes in the wall so I could put my feet in and climb up. And he would help me. He was, he was my partner, he was my buddy. I think this time he's really serious about, I don't know. I'm not sure, I mean, I've seen him really pissed off before at me, like Superman. Thomas, what do you do? Oh. Thomas, come on, man. Come on, stop. You're being a... Thomas, what the... It's my fucking documentary, Ryan. Get him off my property. Getting great stuff, great conflict. I think it's... It's shaking into a documentary. It's shaking into a film. It's a film that's close. It's so close. It's 
house party, did my stand-up, I did like a fucking a hundred YouTube videos, and what the fuck is this? The one fucking sock that I need, where the fuck is it? You little fucking shithead! Get your ass fucking back, get back, get the fucking pick that up, get my fucking shoes, don't use my fucking ground. tools anymore! Okay. Okay. around you sometimes I lie you make a man want to learn how to swim you make a man want to go to the gym and get swole up so hold up let me holler at you and let me put some blocks on your butt on that butt. running on the beach just like on Baywatch if you were on a show they call it Baywatch girl you so pretty girl you probably a dolphin you make a G want to grow some gills you make a G wanna have some thrills. You make a G wanna do everything to be a fish for you. Baby girl, I wanna take you down to the beach. Lay that body on the sand, find in the sand with you, baby. Pay attention to what happens on the internet. Yeah, I pay attention you know, all the time. Do you know how to use this thing? Do you know how to use this? I am working right now. I don't know if you know this, but people are making videos for my internet contest. Did you know that? That's me at work. I have people that work for me. I have people that fucking. I have people me. that work for me too. Who? You. Not anymore. I support your ass all this fucking time, and that's how you're gonna treat me. You've been the fucking anvil. Who pays your fucking bills? Um, mom, 
I carry your ass for fucking 30 years, and you're gonna tell me that you're gonna make it big, hey, and you're gonna drop my ass? You better be careful how you fucking talk to me, bro. You know why? You might be left out of the Oscar speech, bruh. They all say, they all say, like, this is the winner. They all say, uh, contest is over, this is the winner. We'll be the judge of that. Kevin, Kevin will be the judge of that. KCEO 088. What up? Yeah. What up, Fun in the Sun Universe? You do some, uh, did you do some of your judging? Yeah, man. And that's why, uh, right now I just wanted to announce that the winner of the Fun in the Sun video is. Oh, it's hot outside. Yeah! Andrew Freed, baby! Andrew Freed! I mean, <laughs> the checks were cool, but this guy. This guy got this it. Guy. You know where he's from? I actually contacted him, dude. You know where he's from? Where? Harlem. Oh, oh, shit! You're going to Harlem! We're going to Harlem, baby! We're going to Harlem! You're a globetrotter now. Uh, I'm a globetrotter now, son. My name's Drew Freed. I'm an actor, improviser, New York-based. I saw that uh, Kyle Newichek posted this uh, video contest on Twitter. So I made a video for that, a music video at Coney Island. Me and my friend Mike Smith uh, went out there. I took my shirt off. I did some Tai Chi. And I rollerbladed in it. Wasn't, wasn't anything special. Did you see the winner's video? It was really funny. It was really, really funny. Drew? He was like rollerblading on the beach and doing karate. He was like really, really funny. You think he's funny? You think he's funny? <laughs> you think he's funnier than me? <laughs> You think Kyle thinks he's funnier than me? He's funny. He's really, really funny. His video was really funny. Like really, really, really funny. I bet I'm stronger than him though. Like I bet I could beat him up. Someone like Check it out, there's someone murdering somebody over there. Oh man! You missed it! Did you get that? What? I just dunked it. You did it? Yeah. Did you get it? No, oh, you told me to look at something that wasn't there. Well, yeah, and you didn't get it. You didn't get the guy murdering or me dunking. Like, I really hope you... I really hope when I dunk in New York, you don't miss it. I did it, so whatever, let's go. Shit is this? What are you talking about? Are you guys dating? What are you doing? It's really, you're gripping my hand really hard. What is he doing here? Why is you holding her hand so hard? Sorry, now you're kind of hurting me. Oh, you're hurting Let me. Over, oh, you're hurting me. Let go over. Oh, you're hurting me. Thomas, Thomas, stop, dude. Thomas. No, why are you? Hey, I'm acting like a bitch. Do you know why Jillian's bit. here? Hey, shut the fuck up. Do you know why Jillian's here? Listen, come here. I don't know. To fucking have no, sex man, with him. Sell, what? We gotta sell the documentary, dude. I need to put her name on the project. This is a business decision. Come on, man. Don't mess it up. It's so awkward. That oh, I just heard that. Hey, whole thing. yeah, I'm sorry. With the, from the bottom of my heart, I care about you. I care about your well-being. And that guy right there, the one that's eating all your fucking mustard. That guy that's, that that doesn't have the courtesy to use a, a knife. 
Yeah. I'm sorry, I can be around if I write one be around. You want to end up with that? Someone you saw your mustard and beats you? Beats? Does he beat women or something um, or what? Okay, really? I'm, just, I'm just looking out for your best interest. He seems He's really nice. He's a piece of shit. Whoa, whoa, okay, hey man, just watch the curse words. My folks are here. I'm sorry. Right. They came to celebrate. I'm sorry. Yeah, what's going on? Pop a check. I'm sorry. Why don't you lose some pizza and chill out? That's you know what I mean? Let's have a good time. Donkey, okay. yeah. donkey, donkey. A little more than that. Keep pouring, keep pouring. Stop. Were you painting here? Thank you, sir. Stop. You didn't get dropped from that project, have you? I didn't get dropped from my own project, you're right. Would you like any, uh, any drink, sir? Yes, please. Sorry. Pretty lucky guy. Let's play ginger ale. Yeah, so what's, what are you going to do? Heart bypass surgery. What, what is this? What is this, amateur hour? What is this, amateur hour at the Apollo? What would you like? Excuse me. I'm just going to get a little Here, hold on. I can make this drink for you. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Damn it. What kind of operation are you running? Tommy, I just want to okay. say something. Out of respect to my friend's house, yes. I'm going to give you a warning. Go sit in that chair over there. I think we should just talk. Go sit in that chair. Danny up here is going to sing a little rendition of the song that we made the contest for. All right. Yeah. Hey, Danny. Man, it's hot outside. Yep, 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 yep. Jillian. Jillian. Remember when, uh, baby girl. Oh, no. Remember when Lorenzo Lombas was in that scene with us? I'm in a scene with, with Renegade. Tom's you know? Danny's, Danny's singing. He's doing a little uh, rendition sorry. of our song. I'm sorry. I was talking to I you. Know, I know it's not you, it. though. Okay. Okay, he's singing, but it just doesn't... It, 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 that's not what... That's not the at the heart of what we did together. And it, it's... Personally, it, it's... I feel like it's disrespectful. No, man. He's he's really... He's he's paying homage to it. No, he's, he's not. He, he can't... To our he's song. not, and he can't... I was, I was just trying to... Do like a ukulele tribute to your song. I'm not trying to recreate Okay, it. I understand Kyle paid you to be here, but no one wants you here. Okay? Thomas, Thomas, just let him sing, man. Just let him sing. That's right, my dad right, talking. Thanks. That's my dad talking. I know, talking. I respect you. I respect you. I respect you more than my own dad. Baby girl, baby girl, baby girl. Actually, not quartz. I knew that. Jason, what time is it right now? 5:57 Saturday. Yeah. This is Obsidian, though. Huh. Sure. Yeah. Could be Marshall. Yeah. 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 Ye
Am I a loser? Oh, no, you're not a loser. In this project, we can... We can shake this up. We can win. But I need you on board. I need you full throttle. I need TK. I need that motherfucker. We're going to New York. We're going to New York. Yeah, we're going to New York. Kyle got just gave me the tickets. I'm a winner. What the hell are you doing? Why are you running in my mirror? You're not a winner, man. This is a winner. Fuck you, Dad. Hey, before you go anywhere, little guy, wipe it off. I don't have time yet. Hey, I said wipe it off. I don't have time. I'm gonna be too busy in New York City. Yeah, what are you going to New York City for? New York City's gonna chew you up. Not me. You don't know what I can do. I'm gonna make something of myself. Yeah. What? You're gonna see what? You're gonna see me on TV one day, Dad, and you'll know. Fuck yeah, that's right. Walk on out, baby, as usual. And he's going to New York, and the last word he says is just fuck you. video for our for our fun in the sun music video and I'm about to dunk a basketball for that for that guy. You know, that is a yeah. fucking prize. Yeah. You know? Super cool. Yeah, that's right. Kyle. Yo, what do you think? Should I go all all should I go black sweats with a black V-neck? Or should I go black sweats with a Toronto Raptors jersey? Uh go black black. That's what I was thinking. What's like on the fucking uh like the sheriff coming to town, like the black sheriff coming to town. Try so hard for so long. You know, you finally get everybody's attention, and now it's, what do you have to say? With this dunk, I can actually, you know, finish something, man, you know? I just want to finish something. Shooting all these half rockets off, and none of them are fucking, they're all fucking dud so far. What we're going to do now is we're going to dunk, I'll dunk anywhere. We're done. Let's go to the fucking Empire State Building or the fucking Statue of Liberty. So now we're gonna we're gonna reassemble the hoop on top of the Empire State Building. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Something like that. Like I control all of this. I control liftoff and I control putting the ball in the hoop. I control that. <laughs> no man, that dude's not gonna be able to fucking dunk. You know the hoop in our episode was eight feet. He's a classic choke artist. He wishes he was a joke artist.
dunk in that fucking basket. Yes, I'm proud of Thomas. If you show him this, I'm gonna break your fucking arm. He's a fucking kill off. He'll be able to do what he's gotta fucking do. He's gonna fucking dunk, and that's fucking it. Sign it and maybe mail it to me or 
cool. I got a text from my dad. How are things going? Remember, you are the best at what you do. I love you. Yeah, you never know. Like, you never know when your dad has your back. It's a fucking rat, man. Like, I, th I, th I thought he thought I was a faggot. We did it. You know, we came here and do what we had to do. I'm feeling good right now, you know? It's okay to feel good for one second, right? I used to be scared to let my guard down to other people. And then eventually that became, I'm, I'm scared to let my guard down to the universe. It's a good trip. Just a really good trip. This is my, uh, this is my elementary school. It's kind of crazy, you know, you uh, when you're little, everything seems so, so much bigger. Like, everything seems so much scarier, too. You know? Hey, I'm not scared of this place anymore. Boy, I'm an OC boy. You don't fuck with us. You don't fuck with us. You don't fuck with us, dude. Don't I can't. Fuck with us. See, well, I'm, I'm happy what we did, but I'm fucking looking at the horizon, dude. I'm looking at the horizon. I'm just like, fuck yeah. Like, what's next? What's next for us? What, what next? What other wall are we gonna do? Are we gonna fucking break down? You know, uh, drama, comedy, thriller, cop, cop movie. Hey, TK. What's up? We ain't gonna work together anymore. No, we ain't gonna work together. We. Kyle, Kyle's planning on he's gonna be just just a producer style, just a producer. I'm gonna start, start directing because everybody raises their game. Everybody, everybody like that's what you gotta do. Like you gotta you can't just fucking keep redoing the same shit. You know? No, I don't I don't you know about all that, man. Yeah. I don't know about all that. Honestly, I'm really fucking. I'm really I, I'm really analyzing what we are because this is bullshit. I gave a lot to this project. Okay. No, dude, we're done. We're no, done. We're not. No, we're not. We're done. No, we're, we're not. Done. Done. We're fucking done. We got one more. We got one more in us. We got one more. What what fucking started this, dude? I got You're one more. Funny. No, you don't make me any money. But you I don't make me any I money. Okay. 